Hi YouTube friends, it's Megan here with AM Soaps. This week's soap is going to be fragranced with a blend of these fragrances, Harvest Ale Fragrance Oil and Tobacco Fragrance Formulator added to that to give it just a touch of a tobacco smell, but in a nice way. And my soap is a beer soap, where the liquid portion is beer. And I'm using this Carling Black Ice for no other reason other than it was very affordable. So step one is I am going to boil this beer. So here I have a good sized pot and I'm just gonna pour my beer in here and we wanna let this come to a boil. So my goal is to get rid of the alcohol and any of this frothy carbonation in here. So we want to boil this and really let it, I'll give it about 20 minutes. Give it a couple good stirs and a good boil and then I'm going to freeze it. Hello everyone, I'm back now. Here is my beer in ice cube form. Boiled it, froze it and I also have my oils that are part of the recipe. So this is just the water portion and I am going to add the lye, sodium hydroxide, to this, these ice cubes. And then this is the oil blends that make my recipe. Fragrance is here, I'll set it aside. And I have an embed here, which is a blue heart to go in this soap. I'm gonna have a portion that won't have fragrance because the fragrance is 1.5 vanillin content. So it's going to turn a nice color. Really, it's gonna look like the ice cubes. So I'm going to have some that won't be this dark because that will represent kind of the froth that you would have on a glass of beer. So the topping will be the same batter but with no fragrance. So this is going to be a very, very slow pro process. I'll speed it up because this is going to take me about 20 minutes to do. I'm back now. I'm ready. This is my beer and lye mixture. And it's ready to add to the blend of oils. My temperature on this is 76 degrees Fahrenheit. And on my oils is 78. So these are both really quite cold or room temperature. And that is because the beer batter can accelerate on you so I want to start with it cold and not have it uh, just solidify too fast. So I like when I use ice cubes to make the lye water mixture I like to give it a stick blend before I add it to the oils. <laughs> You can't really see if there's any lye crystals that didn't dissolve, so it's just an extra step. And let's just go ahead and add this right in here. Okay, I'm going to pour a portion back into this container and this will be the batter that will not get fragrance. Just that much. Now, the fragrance is going to go in here. However, I'm not going to stick blend it because reviews have stated that this accelerates. So I'm going to set this aside, have my mold ready. This one mold ready to go. And I'm just going to add the fragrance. Okay. 
and we'll whisk and pour. So far, not so bad. All right, it's starting to thicken up now, I can feel it. So let's pour before it's too late. It's like a thick pudding on me here. I want it to have some kind of wispies, like the foam, something to make you think of the foam head on a, on a beer. So I'm just gonna pour some of this bit of uh, chopstick action. Here's my chopstick. I'm just going to stir that in with my chopstick because the fragrance has some vanillin so it's going to go really pretty brown, very light brown, and this will be a lighter color. Okay, now put our heart in here. And we have some more of the darker batter. Hmm. Okay, so that's it for the design of this. It's quite simple. It's just to remind you of a glass of beer, and I've got the blue heart in there for as my signature. So we'll cut into this tomorrow and have a look at how it turns out. Hi everyone, I'm ready now to cut my soap. I have my harp cutter ready here and all tuned up. The strings are tightened, not too much, but just enough. And now I'll go get my loaf of soap. Here we have the beer soap. It smells very nice. Harvest Ale has a real apple smell to it. That's quite a nice fresh smell and the color has turned out exactly like what I wanted. There's no color rinse added. It's just the fragrance itself. There we go. So these are going to look pretty similar to each other. And I hope this will darken up a little, just a little bit more in the next few days. And they will be ready in one month. Today is August 26th, so these will be on my Etsy page in late September, ready for you to order for a perfect stocking stuffer. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's pretty simple soap today. And take good care of yourself for the rest of today. And take care of the people around you and I will see you in the next video. Bye everybody.